All right, my friends, we're starting our timer. And could you please introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Stephen Eldridge. Uh, I, uh, you can call me Mr. Eldridge, but some kids call me Mr. E. Uh, I teach acting, seminar, and acting and directing workshop, and theater arts, and uh, film studies. And sometimes I teach a filmmaking workshop. So oh, cool. I think if I could be any other kind of teacher than a history teacher, it would be it would be like drama teacher. I think it must be a really fun job. Yes, and actually I've really been enjoying the film stuff. In fact, Mr. Cody and I have been having fun exchanging movies and talking about them to each other. So it's uh, yeah, yeah. I, got, be, I got some more for you. Oh, excellent. We really should start. You know what you and I should do? We should start a movie club. Don't you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I got some good stuff. And some. there's actually some good TV shows I'll mention later. Oh, yeah. yeah the, so with, uh, work with all of the new content with, with what's going on with Netflix and Amazon, uh, the new movie really <laughs> is serious. Yeah, it really is. And they're well, incredible. Oh, it's just awesome. Um, which classes are for freshmen that you're teaching? Are they all, could they all be in those classes or do you have one that's particularly for freshmen? Very few freshmen take film studies. Okay. Uh, one of the reasons is that we do show R-rated movies. Uh, otherwise, we'd be mostly showing Disney. Yep. So, uh, and so there are mature themes, both having to do with violence, with race, with, with um, intimacy, et cetera. So those are really junior, senior preferred, and sophomores allowed, but we don't tend to put freshmen in film studies. Also, filmmaking workshop, when you want, it's not running this year. Uh, that's a very difficult course for freshmen to take because it requires a lot of initiative. You really have to manage yourself because you're working independently a lot and with a group of other students to make films. Yeah. Uh, and so that's not best done in your first year in the building. Yeah. I mean, you have a really good group of kids who are very dedicated to, it's, you know, as I talk, spoke to art and music, this really distinct groups that are really theater is their main thing. That's what they do, you know? Yeah, it's yeah no, group. Great, great group of kids. What I will say is that all three of the theater courses are great for freshmen. I, I've really designed them so uh, anyone with any level of experience can take them and learn something and that you can also take them a second time or even a third time. So the acting seminar class is a lot like taking a band in the sense that it's ongoing acting training uh, we're rotating topics. We do different um, units in different years. We focus on different kinds of projects each year. And of course, the students themselves choose material that they're working on. So you can keep taking that course over and over again. In fact, as you get more advanced, you have to become a help in helping other students learn and come along with you. Uh, acting and directing workshop is a little bit different in the sense that it's a uh, on the one hand, the most advanced theater course. Uh, and it's a great course to take after you take another course in theater and work on production, because it's really about how actors and directors work with each other, how do we collaborate, how do we see stage tricks, how do we compose them, et cetera. Uh, it's great for both actors and directors to take. But what we've seen is that you can take that as a freshman and just come in and be an actor in that group. And you're learning a little bit about directing but you're uh, really being available and being there to work with the more advanced students who are directors. You can then take it again later on as a director and you, you see the material in a new way. Um, cool. And so you really can uh, take big steps with it both that's ways. Great. I love that. The class, there's one more. The class that's really most geared for, for freshmen is the theater arts class. It's not running this year. Uh, but generally, that's the class that's about theater in general. It has a lot of theater games and improvisation in it that is play for kids. Um, it's designed as an introduction to the acting training, which is based on theater games. It's a great way to start, but it also branches out and you learn about other aspects of theater. So you learn about theater design, lighting, and set design, right? And you learn, we look at plays, we break plays down. So we try to get a more general, uh, broader, look at the theater and then that information gets used in the acting and directing uh when you start thinking about directing it oh it's so cool i love that yeah i love that synesthesia you know really hitting things from all angles you just big you know i love it i love it now let me ask you what do you like about working with freshmen in particular well the energy yeah the incredible energy the curiosity the liveliness 
what I really love is a bunch of kids coming in the room that have no idea what they're about to do that are really interested uh, and hopefully will trust me. And so the whole first part of any semester is, is me playing with you guys and gaining your trust, getting you to a point where you trust what we're doing and you trust each other uh, and you're ready to play with each other. Yeah. Plays, theater's about plays and, and that's not a coincidence, the word play. So we do a lot of playing. Uh, and freshmen are great players. They're amazing. They're full of life. Yeah, I totally agree. Now, what were you like as a freshman? Oh, gosh. Um, I was a mess. I was a total mess. Um, although, actually, interestingly enough, I went to a school where ninth grade was the senior year. I went to a school for nine years, J.D. Hill School in Cambridge. So I went from first through ninth grade. Right. And then as a sophomore, I went to high school. So I was more of a mess as a sophomore. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh boy, me too, me too. I, I was able to dig myself out, but I yeah yeah, yeah. and that, 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 that's, that you know it's important for them to hear. You know, uh, like it can't these years can be hard, but you come out of yeah. it. What about a piece of advice for the freshmen? What would you say in terms of remote learning? What's your advice to them? Well, remote learning, uh, right? Because I was just about to give you advice about stepping into the building. Yeah, that's probably not exactly. useful advice right now. Not this fall, yeah. No. Remote learning, don't mute. Don't turn off your video, okay? Stay present, show up. The, we, we operate the theater classes by these following rules. This is actually the um, rubric for theater. Show up, pay attention, tell the truth without judgment or blame, and be unattached to the outcome. I, I think a lot of stuff we all learned in the spring, uh, and it was really true for all of us. It was a really hard semester, that, that second half. And moving on to Zoom for the first time was difficult. And everybody felt, we all kind of sat back. We were all intimidated by being in that screen, right? By being in those little boxes. Um, and it was the easiest thing to do, really, for students was to simply turn off their video and mute themselves and wait for me to pontificate. And the problem is, you don't have to do that, pontificate, E-O-N-E-I-F-I-C-A-T-E. The problem is, I, I pontificate great if given the chance. What we had to learn to do was to leave everything on and to listen and respond. So what we're going to be doing in the computer class is we're going to be playing a lot of games. Uh, even in film studies, we're going to be playing games um, to get us to get the ball back and forth, to have more fun, to be a part of the group, to make noise, to get to express ourselves. And I think that's important. There's always going to be a challenge when you have a large class and you have a subject to teach. There's always a challenge in when to be quiet, when to just be listening. But I think it's true, and you can tell me, Mr. Cody, if the, the problem of getting students to, to participate, to respond in class is so important. And so I think we teachers, we have to really open up and give you guys a chance to talk and yell and a little yeah. bit. Well, right? listen, I, I agree. I agree with you so much. And I, spring was hard just for that reason. Yeah. And, you know, I, I need, I, we can't, we can't, I, we don't want to or carry the class. It's not what we do. We want, yeah. we want you as students to step in. It's, it's, it's key. It's, yeah. it's, it's key. So I, I really, I really agree with you. Well, listen, thanks so much for doing this. And if you're lucky enough to have Mr. Aldridge or Mr. E, you're really lucky. And I wish I could be in that class because, you know, I would love to get some acting points. So you will see him soon. Can I have one more time? Yeah, absolutely. Ask, Ask questions. questions. Yes. Um, Contact me. I mean, there's going to be a way you can contact teachers. I love to talk to students who have no idea what's going on or trying to figure things out. I love explaining things. Mr. Explaining, okay? Um, so you, we're all figuring these things out again in the fall. So there's going to be groups. There's going to be play readings. There's going to be clubs. There's an improv group. Um, so come in with questions early. We want your questions. Ask us questions. Yeah. Hey, I think that's great. And I've been hearing other teachers say that communicate, ask questions, stay connected and show up is, is a great piece of advice. All right. And we'll, we'll see each other soon on the uh, virtual remote learning. See you guys in the fall. See you. Uh, a few weeks. Ah!